when we develop the first generation of therapies that keep people young when they are old, those therapies will not be perfect. They will probably give us 20 or 30 years of additional life, but they will give that 20 or 30 years to people who are already maybe 60 or 70 years old at that time. And that means that they will buy time. They will let these people stay biologically young for another 20 or 30 years, during which scientists will continue to improve the therapies so that when they are, let's say, biologically 60 for the second time, the therapies can be applied in a better way and they can be re-rejuvenated. So the idea of longevity escape velocity is just to stay one step ahead of the problem. We never really need to be able to fix all of the damage that accumulates in the body 100% perfectly. We just need to get better and better over time. Well, the good news on research in any area of biomedicine is that the early stages of that research are not nearly so expensive as the later stages. And, <coughs> of course, the early stages are the areas where it's hard to get money because people are not so sure that it will succeed. So I expect that in, if we could just have maybe $50 million per year, million, not billion, million, like for all of the research that we need to do at Sense Research Foundation, we would not be limited by money anymore in order to do the experiments that need to be done. Later on, when these things succeed and they transfer into humans for clinical trials, then a lot more money, but it's going to be much easier to get that money. There are two very different types of controversy around this work. The first kind of controversy is with regard to whether it can be done, whether it is feasible. So that was actually, that's over. There's hardly anybody now who still thinks that this is not feasible and that I'm not talking sen sensible science. But the other type of controversy very much still exists. That is with regard to whether we should be doing this, the desirability. A lot of people will, I mean, most people will still say, oh, I don't really want to live a long time, or, you know, where will we put all the people, or won't dictators live forever, things like that. And all of these things are ridiculously irrational. They're easy, easy things to answer. Uh, but people don't want to hear the answers. I believe that that's because people don't want to get their hopes up. They want to put it out of their minds and just not become too invested emotionally, because then they will be preoccupied, they will be terribly worried that maybe these therapies won't come along quite in time for them, and they don't want that. They've made their peace with aging, they want to stay away from it.